Hello, 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 and happy Sunday to all of my goats, my sea goats, Capricorns. I am talking to each and every one of you all. Let's get right into your reading. Let's go. This is going to be a three-month prediction. So these are some things that I want you to watch out for. So this is going to be extended, so make sure you pay attention. I'm going to go through April, May, June. All right? Yes, Most High God and Universe, please give me a special reading for my Capricorns as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality, and where my sea goats need to take action. All right, Capricorns, let's get right into it. Let's get into it, Capricorns. Hopefully you all are having a great week. I know that you are. Because that is the intention you set, right? Every single day. I hope you're having a great day and planning on having a great week. All right. Don't forget to set your intentions. Like I said, we're walking through April, May, June. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. We're going to slow walk this so that you can catch everything. I am talking to my loyal, hardworking team players. Who are very ambitious, classy, responsible, self-disciplined, self-controlled, great managers of people, money, and time, and very creative. I see somebody getting a raise. Expect a raise. Expect some kind of increase between April, May, and June. Expect more money coming your way, right? I also expect for somebody to um, leave a situation behind where they may be heartbroken, all right, that they may be heartbroken. Somebody's going to find out somebody's been talking negatively about them behind their back, somebody that's very, very close to you. So be very careful. I know right now, currently at this moment, a lot of people are uh, setting those intentions, planting those seeds of intention. Because um, remember, in order to receive this, somebody's going to have to make room for it, right? So this is somebody that's really, really close to you, and it may send somebody into therapy, like really just deciding to, you know what, it's probably time for me to sit down and talk to a therapist, right? Um, some of you all have been hurt many times before by people that you've allowed to get close to you, and this is not going to necessarily take the sting off, you know, for anybody. It's not like this is going to be easier than the last ones, but it's really going to help you to get to the root of some things. Remember, you all are earth signs, you are divine feminine signs. So the person could have, and when I say this, because um, I'm talking to my Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north and south nodes. So if you happen to be a cross watcher and Capricorn is in those placements, I am talking to you. This person could have Aquarius, Gemini or Libra somewhere in their chart, meaning their sun sign can be anything, even including a fellow Capricorn. Let me run it down just in case somebody's like, well, I don't know any Aquarius, Gemini or Libras who were hurt me. They could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. They could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But somewhere in their chart, it's going to feel like they stabbed you with a sword and it's going to really, really hurt somebody. So again, like I said, remember when you're asking for something, Capricorn, remember you are like you're literally making room for something else. Right. I'm also looking at it. By the way, this is the six of pentacles. I'm also looking at the king of pentacles and the two of pentacles. Right. So the energy of money is very, very attracted to you. And I'm a, the energy of money is not always in coins and paper or credit or digital or whatever. It can mean that somebody is giving you something. I see somebody getting some kind of a distribution deal when it comes to their music or some kind of art or something like that, like investments. An investor wants to invest in your business. So it looks like somebody may be working a regular job, but also your own business or thinking about coming up with business ideas. This is going to keep somebody very, very, very busy, right? Coming out of some kind of a heartbreak. The heartbreak, again, is from somebody that's, that you've allowed to get close. It could be a family member. It could be a love interest. It could be somebody that, like I said, you've allowed to get close. Somebody that if they hurt you, you'd feel it, okay? Right. But I do see you moving, um, you know, moving on from that. The person, um, the person, you'll either find out that they've been talking about you, which is going to be very heartbreaking, or that they weren't who you thought they were going to, who you thought they were, um, or, and the arrogance attached to their energy is unfortunate because 
they will run a smear campaign to try to flip the script because your heart is so big and because you've been hurt in the past this is where and i want to help somebody whoever this energy or whoever these energies are this is capricorn where you're going to tap into your divine masculine energy and i want you to completely sever ties with them when I talk about severing ties with energies, sometimes it's your severing ties with the emotion attached to the person, even if you can't. Let's say, for instance, let me give you an example. Let's say you have kids with the person, right? So you can't completely sever ties with them, but you can try to sever ties with the emotion. You get it? The emotion meaning that I'm going to create a buffer so that, you know, um, the court system will know the communication between us or that... I've elected a family member or somebody so that person knows that whatever they send me via text or email, there's always some other another set of eyes watching it so that I can so that I'm not so emotionally connected to this so I can have some time to heal. This energy right here, I'm saying to you, sever ties with the person completely. Block their number, block DMs, block all access so that you can seal off any access points within your spirit. Capricorn and so that you can heal completely right so that means if you need to cry they won't know about it that means if you cursing them out in the spirit they won't know about that either they won't know about anything because you're not giving them and so because part of the reason why you're going to be thinking about it is because thinking about them is because they they're going through a tower moment let me just show you something a lot of things are going to be going right in your life but it's not going to be going right in theirs and their main point Capricorn is to distract you. You got more money coming your way. You have the Midas touch. You're thinking about working for, you could be working for somebody else, but you could also be like really, really in your, your money bag. You could be thinking about other ways, other options or uh, other ways of making money. Cause again, like I said, you have the Midas touch. So you could be doing some partnerships with some people and somebody got some energy close to them that is going to be exposed is them being jealous talking about you behind your back or whatever the case may be but i want somebody to be prepared okay this is coming up april may june that's why we're doing it to extend it and that's what the sunday readings are going to be about so during the week i want to get everybody prepared during the week i'm kind of walking you through leading up to sunday so that's monday wednesdays and fridays i'm walking you through it sundays boom we're going to lay it all out all right got it all right so yeah, so again, you will be divinely protected so that you can heal. That is why I said to you, and it's something that somebody's real passionate about. So again, it's somebody that you've allowed to get close and you may want to, you know, you know, you may feel like completely heartbroken over the situation. That is why I'm saying, I hope somebody's writing this down, completely sever all ties with them. And if, if you can, sever ties with anybody connected to them because you don't want to hear about what they said about you and all of it. Your main point is to heal. You all are one of the signs that just don't let anybody get close to you all without at least being friends with them or, or something. Like, And I'm telling you, it's because, like I said, a lot of money is coming your way. Capricorn, and I'll see in the next three months. So get prepared. Here we have the Six of Swords. Here, help is on the way because somebody is going to help you through this process. It could be a family member, it could be a friend. Somebody's going to help keep you occupied besides just the work that you'll be, um, like I said, involved in. Here we have the Six of Swords. So you're going to be, you're going to sail away from the depth of the emotions attached to it. I'm telling you, somebody is real. Somebody is feeling that. Somebody is feeling that you, Capricorn, are on to something big, like a lot of money is coming your way. And look, here we have the um, the King of Wands, right? And so a fire has been lit inside of you all. So not only do I see you all in leadership positions, because again, if you're not in a leadership position, even if somebody has a management title, they are not, they don't have the same type of leadership um, skills that you have. You came out of the womb already mature because remember uh, Saturn is your ruling planet. So you already came out mature. You already came out, you know, responsible and you're, you're ready to get to work. You're very hard working sign. So you've already been a leader from the, from day one. Now you have some fire up on you. Something has fired you up or really inspired you. Somebody may be sitting around overthinking something like right now just kind of sort of posted up in their emotions overthinking it i'm telling you somebody is going to come to the rescue and say to you you don't need to overthink this block them on all fronts completely block them on all fronts one of the things for you all 
Okay, so I see you all having an epiphany, right? This is what I'm getting. Let me let me see if I can break this down. Somebody may be dating somebody, but it seems like all of their friends have some kind of an issue with you or they're not trying to get too close to you or they seem kind of suspicious and all of that with you, right? This is just one scenario because it's, like I said, extended. It is because the person that you're dating has been talking about you to them, almost making it seem like they're not that um, interested in you, like you can take it, take it or leave it, but they're trying to... They're very manipulative energy, and that's what's going to be exposed. And because you all are, that's why I keep saying stop letting people touch you. Like, take your time and really get to know people. And plus, you also got to check your motives, too. You got to see, okay, does this person, is this person a means to it and to where I can get to? Because it's going to cause you to think a lot of things, right? Like I said, ruminating over some things. We have the four of cups here. Somebody may be really thinking about, you know, and this is, this is going to be, your epiphany or your tower moment too because in your tower moment capricorn you may be thinking man something told me not to date this person something told me ahead of time but i'm thinking that you know we can try to make it work that's the lesson that you're going to learn in this that you could have done this without them right you could have done it without them i'm also seeing because the person the person is trying to isolate you they're trying to they're trying to make sure you're physically away from your support system. They are trying to isolate you like everybody that they introduce you to in your field has to somehow be connected to them because they want to make you feel like they they want to make it seem like they are somehow playing a huge role in your success. When the truth of the matter is is that they actually need you Capricorn more than you need them. Okay, but again, part of that manipulation and isolation, and they may be, they will use anything. I'm telling you, it's going to be exposed. They will use anything to manipulate you, including the S word to manipulate you. I also see there's a family member involved that could help you, but the family member is connected to other messy family members, Capricorn that um they're just it, it they're just it's just a whole bunch of confusion going around and in, in, in somebody is in your family like a family member could kind of sort of help you in this situation and kind of be like a listening ear where you all that's an opportunity for you all to bond closer and really really connect but instead they're taking this role out like they don't want to be bothered because it's going to mess up their money or it's going to mess up their such and such or whatever it's just it's just a foul situation so the person that reaches out to you that's sincere they don't have anything to lose or gain by helping you through this process that's the person you kind of sort of want to you know connect with that's the person you want to kind of sort of cling to you don't even need to overthink this let the person be exposed because they're going down they're there the fact that your heart has been very pure towards them the fact that you have been very sincere you know with them it's just not their their plans are not going to work all of these are money cards here we have the page of pentacles this is new money coming your way we have the eight of pentacles you have at least eight streams of income your way and then we have the ace of pentacles which lets me know that big money is coming your way so again it can be any sign but we're talking about more so the fact that you allow this person to get close. It could be a close friend. It could be a romantic interest or whatever. But this person really doesn't have your best interest at heart. And you're going to find out who they are. And for somebody, it's going to be really heartbroken, like so disappointment. But remember, the only reason why a person can break your heart to this extent is because there's something else deeper going on within you, right? Like, I'm so used to being hurt and disappointed by people that I trust. And because I haven't completely severed ties with those people, it's almost like you're numb to your own pain to a certain degree. But this is going to crack wide open so that you have no other choice but to say, you know what? I I'm about to come out and I'm, I'm, it's like I'm about to come out swinging like like. I'm, I'm about to come out like a lion and we know the lion is the symbol for Leo. But it's like, you know, I'm, I'm about to come out. Um, I'm about to come out and like something has, something has awakened in me. Like this fire has really awakened in me. And when I come, that's how, that's how sometimes people look like they are complete jerks, but 
this is not how you're going to come out. If anything, it's going to get you more focused and like more on fire. Like, okay, you saw me as competition. I would have never did what you did to me. I would have never talked negatively about you. I, would, I protected your energy. I protected your interest. I made sure I protected you. But this person, they're on something else. They, they, they came in wrong, right? But I see you feeling happy, magnetic, and free, right? Because again, this money is putting you in different circles of people. So they basically, they, they played themselves themselves okay somebody is somebody that you allowed to get really close to you really played themselves so i hope that you all are paying attention to everything that i'm saying we're going to keep it rolling we are going to keep it rolling this family member give me some more information about this family member spirit give me more information about this family member who is not even coming up to like not even coming to your defense like it's mm. what, what more information do we have about this family member what, what information do we have about this family member That's what's going to be the real, the, I mean, like, aside from that, like, it's not like you never dated somebody, like you never been betrayed by a friend, but what's going to really, really kind of take somebody by surprise is, again, a lot of you all feel like family is supposed to be this way, they supposed to be that way, they supposed to be this way, like blood is thicker than water, but somebody is about to find out that their own family member is not even, they're almost like they're going to turn the other cheek. Yep. That, that's what I said before. Give me some more information about this family member. Give me more information about this family member. Let me show y'all what else I'm looking at. We have the strength card. It could be a Leo that's going through, that's going to be going through something because the strength card is attached to Leo. We have the star card, which is attached to Aquarius. It could be an Aquarius or you could be on the cusp of an Aquarius, but you know, it's going to help you heal in, in, um, in those spaces. We have the judgment card, which is attached to Pluto, right? So I see somebody decluttering. We have the temperance card, which is attached to Sagittarius. Like I said, they could be any sign. We have the world card, which is your card, which is attached to Saturn, yours and Aquarius, um, ruling planet. So we're going to talk a little bit about that, but I want to know a little bit more spirit about the person, this family member who does not have the, uh, mm, they don't have the, the, the sense to even see that if they align themselves with you to help you through this process. Like I see some, hold on, I'm going to show y'all what I'm looking at. Here we have the Knight of Swords and we have the Nine of Pentacles. Like I said, we have the Judgment card and we have the Three of Cups, right? So the energy, the energy of the family member which is going to play a key role in this um, Capricorn is that they could help you, but they're almost going to take this. And I don't want somebody to get, I don't want somebody to get tricked by this. They're going to almost take this like naive sense, like they didn't know, you know, what was going on or they didn't know this and they didn't know that do not fall for it. Yes, they do. They know the intensity of it. They've been talking to other family members about it behind your back. In other words, there's nobody in this circle that you can actually trust. So like, I'm going to say this again, it, including a family member, right? Which always seems to throw earth signs off. Like I can't trust my own family. Like, I mean, I know everybody knows the family of you know, Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel. Like I know everybody knows that fan, that story, right? How, you know, the, you know, they're supposed to be the first, the, the parents of the first murder victim and the first, uh, murderer, right? So I need you all to take off the rose colored glasses when it comes to family, because it's just as damaging when you're going through something, like somebody hurts you. That's like, um, somebody jumping you, like, you know, kids fighting or whatever, and somebody jumps and you got a family member standing right there that won't even jump in and help you. And you're just looking like, I can't believe they won't even help me. Then it all of a sudden hits you like a ton of bricks. Wow, this family member actually has an issue with me, and they do. With the issue that they have with you is that you're taking off. You're like, things are happening for you. Look at all of these money cards. If people don't think that money will change the people around you, I'm not sure what else I need to tell y'all about this because all of these are money cards. This tower moment right here, somebody's going to have to tap into their strength because and, and raise their frequency to a higher frequency to see what I'm looking at. Because the people around you, they, they know that, okay, this is kind of tricky. 
They want to be connected to you in some way, shape, form, or fashion, but they want to be able to say that they played some role. It's like a main person who wants to say that they played some role in your success. Your confidence, and see, what they don't realize is that you're getting confidence from um, some of your true friends. It could be your parents that you're getting. So you're getting confidence from somebody and also from within Capricorn. So they don't understand, like, your confidence to them. They'll try to make it seem like, oh, this person is cocky and they see you as competition. I'm going to say this to you, like I said before, to other signs. The moment somebody sees you as, um, as, um, as competition, Capricorn, they lost, okay? So much money, I'm telling you, so much money is coming your way. If you all can just get through this heartbreaking situation, and when I say you do not want this to linger because it's going to hold up your money if you allow this thing to linger, let's say, for instance, you're constantly calling a person, how could you do that to me, and I would have never done that to you. Nope. The moment you go find somebody a safe space for you to cry and get it out and sit down and talk to a therapist because that person has been trying to set it up from the very beginning trying to isolate you from everybody almost like a like devil energy like a person who um who wants to you know isolate you from the masses like they don't want you, like this is in this is in, in in a relationship whether it's a professional relationship a romantic relationship or a platonic friendship even in the workplace, there are some people who don't want you to go to lunch with certain other people because y'all can be talking about the culture of the organization so that they can isolate you and make you feel like they're the one person that you can come talk to while they're, they're controlling the narrative about you right it's the same thing that's happening in a love situation too where it's good like i said it's gonna be very heartbreaking for somebody so i'm telling y'all capricorn i hope somebody pays attention to me and i hope you hear me loud and clear don't make that one person you're all in all don't do it i don't care how great the s is i don't care what they talking about i don't care how many golden nuggets they swinging in front of your face saying you know i'm I, I you know you know just stick with me you know i can get you this raise i can get you this position or such or such department or whatever mm-mm Nope. I don't care how great this platonic friendship seems. If they seem, making it seem like they're the only one that can get you to a, a person. Well, I, you know what? I know so-and-so, and I know you've been wanting to meet this person to, you know, take your business to the next level, or I can get you a meeting with this person or whatever. Don't make them your source. Don't make them your source. Another money card, Queen of Pentacles. So your heart is very, your heart is in the right place, Capricorn. It's in the right place. You're very sincere. You're very down to earth. Don't let this energy make you bitter. Let it make you aware. Find the silver lining in this because this person is straight up tripping. <laughs> like, if they honestly think, if they really think that they're the reason for your success, they must be on some kind of new, some new, you know, synthetic something because they're not. They need, they feel, okay. Like I said, if they saw the power in themselves, they wouldn't even play these games. If they saw the power in themselves, um, they wouldn't even try to control you with, you know, and, and it's somebody that's touching you. Like there's somebody that is like, it could be the S word. And I got to be careful because I know the younger audience sometimes watches my channel. So I know somebody keeps saying, what she mean the S word? <laughs> Y'all figure it out. <laughs> but that's why I always tell you all stop letting people touch you because people are transferring their energy over to you. And depending on, you know, what they're doing, you could be just, you know, sucked into their energy. And also the person, here's the thing, here's the thing. I remember one reading I did, Capricorn, when I was talking about like somebody's mother is sending good energy to them. And I got a, like an overwhelming response was like, I don't get along with my mom. My mom was this. My mom was that. My mom is this, that, and that, right? One of the things I want everybody to understand is that no matter how evil a person is to you, no matter who they are, everybody came into this realm, pure consciousness, now they could have had they could have been zombified somebody could have sucked their soul out they could have you know they could have you know gone through an enormous amount of abuse and i'm not trying to give i'm not trying to give anybody an excuse because abuse on any level is just not right right it's just it's very hurtful it's very distracting 
all of that, right? So I'm being sensitive to your pain as well. But I'm telling you, somebody, somebody is really sending, like, if all the strength they could muster up, even though they could be zombified and be emotionally bankrupt towards you as a child, but it's what all the strength they can muster up to say, please protect Capricorn from this because they could see it like somebody's mother practiced witchcraft like somebody's mother you know kind of dabbled in the um dabbled in the in some other level of spirituality in some level of other type of religion right um where Again, even in even in religions like people going to church or whatever, that's why you hear about good churches and bad churches. Like he, people having good experience and bad experience, and like you've heard people say, church hurt is the worst hurt, right? Somebody is sending some, like somebody is sitting down meditating, seeing you protected because you can't see it. It's almost like you you have your back turned. It's like, I don't know who I'm talking to, but if somebody has their back turned to all of this stuff going on, and so you have an extra la layer of protection. Whenever I see the tower card, I'm letting, I'm seeing that people around you falling, but I'm seeing you're divinely protected, Capricorn. So the only thing that will cause you to be distracted and thrown into their cycle, Capricorn, is if you try to go back and help them. But I don't see that happening. I see you getting as far away from them as humanly possible, physically and emotionally. Like, I am so disappointed. I'm so, so, so disappointed. But let me tell you something. Somebody tried to tell you about them. Like somebody tried to tell you about the, the manager on your job or somebody on your job. Somebody tried to tell you about this friend. Somebody tried to tell you about this romantic interest. But again, they stopped talking because they can actually feel like the disappointment in your spirit. Almost like, I don't want to hear that. That's negative. I don't want to hear it. Or you couldn't receive it from them. But guess what? That's the energy that's sending energy to you saying, well, we're going to make sure since, you know, Capricorn is just going to have to learn the hard way. But again, it's because you have asked for more money. You asked for money to fund a project, money to fund some kind of a business or something that you're doing or whatever. But it's going to be a lot of twists and turns in this. Here we have a dream journal. So when you all dream, I want you to put a have a journal next to your bed, and I, you don't have to remember the dream from the beginning, right? You don't have to remember a, the dream from the beginning, right? I'm also seeing in the cards, too, is that somebody had a dream about some relatives, and the relatives are almost like they are, they're not necessarily crying out to you, like, how come I haven't talked to you in a while, or... Um, but they're kind of wondering why you don't talk to them anymore. Like, like almost like you went ghost as if, and, and, and one of them in particular, I'm seeing three people, like, like three siblings. One of the siblings played a role into why you cut everybody off. And I'm not saying you cut off your whole family, but somebody cut like a large group of people off that hurt them. One of them is kind of like in the middle, like they kind of know what's going on, but they kind of don't know what's going on. The third person in the family is completely oblivious to everything, almost like a person who just woke up out of a slumber and they're trying to figure out what the heck kind of, what is, what the heck is, what happened, right? So now that everybody has come to themselves, the main perpetrator in the family, and remember this, even this person in the family had played a role in that family member acting like they're naive too, because this family member is pure, just toxic. I mean, to the core, their marriage isn't going well. You know, things are going haywire in their lives. I'm seeing somebody popping pills on medication. It's just all kinds of stuff that I'm seeing chaotic in their lives. And it's, okay, you, Capricorn, have some level of compassion towards them where, but you had to save yourself. Like, you have compassion towards them. Like, you know, again, here we go with blood is thicker than water. That's my family. I'm there for them. So you was ride or die for them, and you would have been there for them with, for whatever they needed until you found out 
they stabbed you in the back and was running a smear campaign. But see, by the time they try to clear it up or by the time they come to themselves, it even reached that one relative that acted like they are, um, you know, like naive and oblivious. Like, I didn't know, I didn't know it was that bad and I thought everything was okay. And I'm, like, they're kind of sort of on the fence. It's a lot of people, there's a lot of players in this that, um, it's a lot of players in this that for you, your whole outlook on blood is thicker than water is about to change. And also, I got to be real careful about who I allow to get that close to me. It's going to cause you, Capricorn, to start asking more questions and start vetting people because it's too much money in your cars. And all of those people that betrayed you are about to be replaced with money. Now, in your mind, you may say, good, you know, I, I plan on being rich, but you didn't plan on this kind of pain. You didn't plan on, and so I'm telling you, it's already happening. It's already, it's already in the works because you didn't tell those people to betray you. Some of those people are watching your social media um, page, you know, and because they didn't think people around, I'm telling you, people around you don't think that you're going to take off the way that you're taking off. And even though you would take them with them, take them with you, I'm talking about in terms of like financially, you would help them out and you would give them a job or whatever. They would want to see anybody else win except you. And you wonder why you like, well, why me? Like, what did I do? Nothing. Balance spirituality with practical and practicality. There could also be somebody who has Pisces in their chart who is praying for you, who kind of know like you need to leave certain family members alone. They always got some mess with them. They always keeping some mess with them. This person could be trying to send good energy your way too. The person could have Pisces in their chart, but they could be like, you know what, like secretly just rooting for you. There are people who are sending good energy your way like, okay, they're kind of stepping back. I don't want you to be mad at them, Capricorn, because this group of people are like, they're going to have to almost learn. Because one person in particular was trying to tell you, they were trying to tell you like, mm-mm. But something kept telling them, don't say anything because it's going to, it's, it's almost like Capricorn, you were going to turn on that person. Almost like I can't trust anybody. So you're going to have to learn, you're going to have to learn this because again, what it's actually preparing you for is your wealth, right? You know how people learn how to walk in, um, like how do people uh, move in a room filled with snakes? You're going to have to learn it in your own family and people that you have connected with first in order for you to really, really survive out here. Or you'll go places thinking that, okay, I got a close connection with this person. We're cool. I got a close connection with this person. We're cool. And every single time they stab you in the back or bite you like a snake, you're devastated to a point where it, it affects your money. All right, here we go. Stop clinging to the idea that your body is a thing. Listen to your spirit, okay? My body is a junction between the visible and invisible worlds. So when these downloads are coming to you all in a dream and the faces are like, and the faces are, and the, and the faces are um, very, very clear, um, and you're seeing family members, I don't, I, I want you all to, because on one part, I want you all to see exactly who the people are or who the person is. Well, I want you to see who all the players are. Um, and you will see who all the players are. But like I said, write down a dream journal. Write down a dream journal. You don't need to, you don't need to um, know what role they play in all of this just yet. Because even the people who are riding the fence in this situation right here, um, who could... who. And this is a crazy thing. They know that the certain family members are just a mess, but like they could be their siblings, like they could be your cousins, right? Um, and they know that their they know that their sister or brother is a whole hot mess, but they are too looking at it as like, well, blood is thicker than water, so I'm not gonna go against my sibling, and you know, I, I I'm gonna try to remain neutral. They need to go too. You need to cut them off too, so so that you can make room for additional money. Because again, I hate to say this, but in this instance right here, you're going to find that when you start asking questions and interviewing soul tribes, because people don't want to be in your space, because of, not just because of your, your glowing personality, of course, that's one part of it, but also the attachment, that the fact that money is so attracted to you, Capricorns, you're going to have to balance out your life. 
Like you're going to have to, like I said, spirituality and practicality. You're going to be able to see, you're going to have to balance out seeing things with your natural eyes, but you're also going to have to pay attention to your intuition. This is source trying to get messages through to somebody. So somebody is going to be healing and then things that you may have thought you lost out on are going to come full circle. This is where you're not going to be bitter. You're just going to be, you're going to come out of this situation wiser. But somebody needs to ascend to their higher self. And somebody has already started the process of doing energy work. But I'm telling you, ascending to your higher self, focusing on healing. This person doesn't want, this is how much attention this person wants you. They don't want you to go to therapy. They don't want you to connect with certain people. When you're on the phone, they want to know who you're talking to. Like they want to insert themselves so deep into your life, trying to control the narrative they have been trained very, very well. They were actually sent to you. I'm telling you, they have been sent to you to distract you from all of this money coming your way because they would love to be able to say, if it wasn't for me, right? If it wasn't for them, then you wouldn't have another, you know, another situation to refer to on your road to wisdom, like becoming wiser. So yeah, but again, they're going to be going through a horrible tower, and it could be several people going to be going through a horrible tower moment. And guess what their top, part of their tower moment is going to be? The fact that you have completely severed ties with them. You have healed all your dark spaces without them. And you're filthy rich without them. Yes, they're going to try to run smear campaigns. They're going to talk about, you know, how the S was. They're going to talk about you know, they had somebody that was better than you or who looked better than you or who did things better than you or smarter than you or who went to this school. They have friends in the high places and they're connected to this person or this person is a better rapper or a better singer, a better doctor, a better nurse, a better engineer, a better whomever. It won't even matter. I'm telling you, that's why I said they need to be cut off cut off and every single person attached to them needs to be cut off too because you don't you don't even you're not even holding space to even receive messages from the negative including that naive family member who act like they were just completely brain dead when it came to you like they couldn't make a decision because they're only worried about their pockets they don't even they don't even see it yet that with all the money coming your way you could have set them up for life financially you could have given them a job and they would have been set for life let them stay right down there with the rest of them and depend on that same same group let them go down with the, the crabs in a barrel because they all going down that's what i have for you capricorn i'll see you in a couple of days bye